What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi I'm Sim and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I bleach, customize this wig, styled it, all of that good stuff and I'm wearing it this weekend to the beach on my trip. That's Logan, he in the bed. <laughs> so, just to kind of let you guys see what it's looking like now. And for those asking, though, I think it's 32 inches. Um, it's trying to give a smooth 32. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but make sure you guys stay tuned so you can see how I do my hair. I don't think I've ever done a, um, a video like this. So, you know, if it's not perfect, Corrective criticism, if I do it again, I'll do better. But yeah, so I gotta get ready to go on the trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this intro. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content that's coming afterwards. So. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys the wig. And just to let you guys go ahead and know, I do believe this hair is a little synthetic blend, just saying. But the things that I'll be using, I'll be using this comb. I saw these on my website. I'll be using the Goss To Be Glue Free Spray. And all I'm doing is using that to get the lace hard so i'm spraying the hairspray onto the lace to get it hard and i'm also spraying it on the baby hairs to get them out the way and i'm gonna comb that back and i'm also going to let it dry and over once it's dry i'm gonna start to bleach the knot And so now I'm just getting the items that I'm going to use to bleach. I'm using BW2 bleach powder. And I don't know the name of it, but it's 30 volume developer. You can use whatever developer you want to. And then a cup and a plastic knife. I like to use a plastic knife to do my knots. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. It's your preference. But that's about the consist consistency that I like to use. Thick, but still easily spreadable. And it'll be very easy to use with, you know, the guys to be glue on the lace. So, I just take that and I spread it onto the lace. I try to keep it in um, like a slow time so you can kind of see what I'm doing. It looks like I'm pressing it hard, but I'm really not. I'm really just kind of letting it do its own thing, but like directing it. So, you don't want to press down too hard because then you're going to over bleach your knots. Just, you know, light and make sure that it's even and everything is covered. <music> And then I did 30 minutes to do the knots, but I let it stay on longer because it wasn't bleaching all the knots. So I probably did about 45 minutes, maybe an hour max, to try to get all the knots to bleach. And then to wash everything out, I used purple shampoo, the shimmering lights, and then this protein shampoo, and then this suave conditioner just to condition the hair and this is what the knots look like afterwards nice and bleached and you know then once i plucked it, of course it was gonna look better i didn't show the washing out part because i felt like that was kind of you know self-explanatory but to pluck i'm using the combs again that i sell on my website and then these tweezers which i also sell on my website and a little kit so you know head over there if you guys would like those things i like using these tweezers because they have the little comb in which, you know, helps you from going back and forth the whole time with your comb. You ain't got to put your tweezers down. You got your comb. And then how I tweeze is just how everybody else kind of explains it. Pluck a little, skip a space, pluck a little, skip a space. And I just do that until I'm satisfied with what it looks like. And I try not to do too much because I like for my wigs to last a little longer. Because the more that you pluck it, the more likely it's going to bow fast. So that's just, you know, how I do it. I keep it real simple real you know quick something just just enough to get it done and then i'm gonna show you guys up close so when i get to the front 
my main goal is just to not have a straight across hairline to give it some you know just variety of looks you don't want it to be straight across because that's not how a hairline looks so i'm doing that and then i'm just going to kind of do like a little half oval to get the baby hair out and i'm going to thin that out as well but right now i'm just kind of twisting it away but i am going to thin it out soon so now i'm just going to go into the parts and try to get any black knots that was left i'm going to pluck those out the part i just feel like it helps to you know your part to look natural that's a tip for me you know just pluck out that black the black knots you don't have to like you know pluck a line but just get the black knots i feel like that helps it look better and then i'm gonna take some of this fruit i don't even know the sleek and shine serum from this company right here i can't think of how to say their name for real and i'm gonna put it through the hair and by the way the hair is wet so i put this in while it's wet and let it air dry and to me you know it gives a very nice sleek flat iron and so that's how much i plucked out of the wig and so now i'm about to flat iron it it's this spray i can't remember like what it's called or where i got it from because this was years ago but i just put that on the hair and then i go through and i flat iron it i ain't gonna lie to you i don't remember the degrees that the flat iron was on but yeah so i'm just gonna go through and try to do maybe around two passes this is when i started to realize that like this wig might be a little synthetic blend or something because it wasn't really straightening like how i want it I did curl it when I got to the beach and went out and I do like it better curled. I probably will never wear it straight again and just wear it curled or crimped or something because I just did not like it straight. But yeah, I'm just going to let you guys finish watching me straighten it. And so at the top, basically I take hair around like where the last track meets the closure and I go around and I put a little wax stick on it and I hot comb it to get it as flat as possible and to make sure that it's covering the tracks. And then I flat iron the rest after that or I might flat iron it first then hot comb it. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But yeah, so I hot comb it. Hot comb it. <laughs> I put the wax stick up there to sleek it, get rid of the flyaways. Then I take my hot comb, which my hot comb is on 500 degrees. I always use it on 500 degrees. I want it as hot as possible. Try to get that flat. And then I go through with the flat iron. And then I flat iron the bottom half of it. And I'm going to go through and do that to the whole entire top. And so I forgot to record anything after that, but this is what the wig looked like after I put a little some waves in it basically, and I enjoy it with some waves. It's a very nice wig for the price that I paid. Um, oh yeah, an outfit that I'm wearing is also on my website if you would like to check that out. But that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to see how I install my wigs, make sure you check out my other hair video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Sin signing off. Peace.